Hi everybody, this is Dee. Okay, so what we're making, I made this out of Ray's Yarn Addiction, hand spun yarn, I'm so, I love it so much. And what we're making is this boho um, cake cozy, okay? So basically, super easy, and I'm gonna tell you how to make different, oh geez, hold on, okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm going to tell you how to make uh, small, medium, and large, okay? So we're doing it by inches, not stitches, okay? So you're going to start out, this is a weird angle for me to crochet, guys, so bear with me. I am using sugar and cream cotton for this one, and honestly, you can use scraps, you can use anything. It only takes about 100 yards to make the biggest one. So you can literally use any scraps that you want. So basically you're going to make a chain. Now this one I am going to make, this is my graft. Eight inches long for a small, a medium is nine, a large is 11, and an extra large is 12 inches long. So that's what we want to do with our chain. Okay, I'm going to make a medium size one out of this one. But basically just make your chain and I'll be back once I got that done and this basically is half double crochets guys I'll show you once when I get going okay I got my chain eight inches long you're gonna need a measuring tape you're gonna need some scissors you're gonna need a darning needle you're gonna need four stitch markers Whatever you want to decorate it with, you can make your own tassels, you can make these pre-made, you can do it with beads, you can do it with a fancy button, whatever to make it dressed up. And I'm using this needle here to sew the button on. That's basically all you need. And your crochet hook and yarn. And like I said, you can make this out of any kind of yarn. Um, I have found while making these that the uh, silkier kind of yarns um, don't hold the cake as well. So you're going to want to go with cotton, acrylic, you know, something like that. Let me show you the extra large. Now this is a mandala bonus bundle. And this I made with a silkier type of yarn, which, you know, it will hold this because it's, ta it's taunt, but it slides down the sides. So you may not want to use like a Caron Simply Soft or, you know, those slicker kind of yarns. Use something, you know, just plain old acrylic, cotton, you know, things like that that have a little bit of grip to them. Okay? All right. We got our 8-inch long chain. We're going to do a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. If you don't know how to make a half double, you... Yarn over, go into the chain, pull it through, yarn over again, and pull it through. And we're going to go down the whole chain like this. It's going to give me trouble because I'm at a weird angle. I used to crochet in this direction. Okay, what is this? Incent ash. Okay, so we're going to do half doubles all the way down our chain, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, this is our medium, which is, or a small actually, which is eight inches. And um, let me show you. The eight inch one will hold a Hobby Horizon cake in your smaller cakes that you have. Uh, the medium size will hold a yarn art it will also, uh, Yarn Art Flowers, this is Flowers Vivid. It will also hold a hobby cake really well, okay? Um, actually, I think I'm going to redo this. No. A large will hold, and that medium will also stretch to hold the Flowers Vivid. And then the extra large can hold things like the Mandala Bonus Bundle. Things like that, just to give you a reference. Okay. All right. So we're at the end of our row. We're just going to chain one, 
flip it and do the same thing again. Half double crochets all the way down. Now what we're going to do um, is make it a perfect square. So however many inches that you crocheted it in one direction, you're going to crochet it in the other. So it's going to be 8 inches by 8 inches, this one. Okay? And you're just going to go down and do your half doubles all the way down the row. And I'll meet you at the... When I've got 8 inches this way and, and I've got 8 inches this way, it's a perfect square. And I'll meet you there. Okay, so we got our 8 by 8 square. And... Um, of half double crochets so we're gonna end it and flip it so we got the wrong side now we're gonna bring these corners in like this okay I'm gonna tuck in my ends I'll be right back okay now we're gonna bring our corners in like this Make it like an envelope. I'm gonna do some adjusting. Okay. Now you're gonna measure about two inches. Maybe not so much on this one. Let's go for one and a half because this is a small. So about one and a half inches in. And pinch up the two sides together and put them together with a stitch marker. Okay, I'm gonna go like that all the way around. Oh, wrong side, there we go. Okay. My dog is playing with his bone. <laughs> Fur babies. Okay. And we got all four of those in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull these up like this and stitch it. Or you can uh, go along the edge and, and do a slip stitch and then weave in your ends. But I'll meet you after I have slip stitched these all together. Oh, I forgot to say you need to cut a piece of yarn to slip stitch it. Okay, got my yarn. Darning needle if you want to sew it. Crochet hook if you want to slip stitch it. And I'll be back. Okay, I did three of them, but I want to show you how to go about this. Make sure that you go into every stitch so it looks neat. Okay, and this is what I, this is how I do it. Oh boy, so I'm gonna do it wrong. Hold on. I had this whole thing filmed and ready to go, and then I watched it and it was terrible, so I had to redo it. All right, so I'm just pulling that tight, tying it in a knot, so it doesn't go anywhere. Then I'm going to go in the next stitch, next stitch on the other side, pull it through, next stitch, next stitch on the side, pull it through. Why are you giving me a trouble? There we go. Slip stitch. Slip stitch. This is not easy to do at this angle. Ah, uh, tutorials aren't as easy as they look, guys. Okay. Get rid of that stitch marker and do one last stitch. Oh. And pull it through. And 
Okay, so this is what you want to have, okay? So now you can tuck in all your ends. Tuck in all your ends. Make sure you go back and forth a couple times, you know, with your um, weaving of your ends so that they don't come loose. And something else I wanted to bring up is that, you know, if you've made um, dishcloths or granny squares or whatever, you can make these out of your already made squares. And so that's really cool. And as you can see, it didn't take a whole lot of yarn. This is, a, what is it, sugar and cream? And how many yards are in here? And of course, all the writing is teeny tiny. The color of this is called Tea Rose. And there's 120 yards in one of these. And I didn't even use half, I mean, probably less than half. So it doesn't take a whole lot of yarn. Okay, I'm going to tuck in my ends, and we'll be back for the next step. Okay, so here's what you got. You're going to flip down these corners, and we're going to secure them. So hold it up and kind of feel where it's kind of going to lay flat. And take some yarn. And we're gonna take it like this and tie it three times. One, two, three. And cut it off. We want this right here to hold the tassels on, so leave them long. <laughs> why is it why I'm on camera? I fumble through my handshake. Ugh. I'm keeping my promise, guys. I'm going to make tutorials this year. You're just going to have to bear with me why I get this down to a science. Okay, there we go. Number three. Did I tie that three times? Tie one more just to be sure. Last one. Okay. All right. So now we have Mark. Okay, anyways, we have our little things here. All right, so now we're going to make our tassels. Let's move that to the side. Okay, I'm using my glass case because I want small tassels. And you're just going to wrap it around and around and around and around. And I'll be back. Okay, I got a good amount here. And I'm just going to cut it to make our tassels. Now you can get these pre-made tassels right here and connect those on if you want. Or make your own tassels. But why spend the extra money if you got the yarn, you know? Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to divide it in four. Nothing has to be perfect, just get you four little piles. Okay, we got our four little piles. Let's scooch those up. 
All right, so now we're going to take the ties we have here. We're going to lay those tassels, kind of judge where the middle is, across. And you're going to tie them three times. Okay, there's one. And tie it three times. My sleeves are coming down. And tie it three times. There we go. There. I mean, once you've done one of these, you can do one in less than an hour. I mean, it's like bam, bam, boom, it's done. It's no more than making a dishcloth. Pretty easy. Except for you got to do all this kind of thing on it, but to do the detail. Okay. All right, so our next step is to tie it up. So what we're going to do is kind of straighten out your, all your threads there. Leave a, a little area and then wrap it around if, three or four times, I guess, would do it. Three and four. Pull tight. And then you're going to tie this. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Scissors. do it. Try to make it as um, wide as that one, you know, kind of use that as your judge. And tie it. I'm gonna wrap that around again. There we go. And now our last one. Everything's so much harder when you're doing it this way. I'm sitting down at my table. It's so easy. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we're going to trim up our tassels. Let me do mine right about there. 
think my scissors are getting dull. Bless you. Yeah, my scissors are getting dull. Get Mark to sharpen those. Okay, now we got our tassels. Now comes the fun part. Decide which one we want to be our front. I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to put this button on here. Is going on. Okay, that's not one to go through there like that. I'm gonna sew this button on and I'll get back. Okay, guys, here we have it. And what you do is you put your cake inside it like that. Slide oh, it's catching on the label. Slide it up on the sides. This is a small, as I had said before, and it holds a Hobie Horizon cake. Pretty cute, huh? And like I said, you could use a dishcloth. You could use a granny square you got sitting around. You could use buttons. You could use beads. You could use pre-made tassels. Um, you know, a pretty button. You got a random button. You could use any of that kind of stuff to decorate it up and make it look boho. And I love these little things. They work perfectly for me. And that's it, guys. That's how you make them. Okay, that's it for now. See you next time.